lot later in the day now. Um, you have to excuse Mike, he's making his tea in the background. But um, yeah, we went for our 36 week growth scan um, this morning and we ended up being there like over two hours, wasn't it? Like? Two and a half hours. Yeah, like two and a half hours. Um, because we had to have the scan and see the consultant as well, even though we were literally in there for about two minutes with the consultant. Um, but yeah, it wasn't very well this morning. I was actually like sick and stuff. Um, but it also could have been I, well, I don't know, it could have just been like me drinking coffee that made me sick or I don't know. Yeah, we went to the hospital, baby's all healthy. The reason we had another one is because in our last growth scan at 33 weeks, baby was measuring like over the 97th percentile or its head was. So they were like measuring big. But then on this one, they sort of expect your baby to follow the, the trend but our baby hadn't grown as much as what they then thought. Um, but everything was fine with like the umbilical cord, like flow of blood and everything like that. The head is still above the 97th percentile though, but everything else had like slowed down in growth. But they said they weren't concerned because the baby has still been growing like at least 20 centimeters per day. Yeah, it was it was all good. Did they say anything else, Matt, that I haven't said? Uh, I don't think so. But they basically just said, I've got to go for another scan, basically, in two more weeks. And they'll decide from there what happens. So, yeah. And I'll be 38 weeks at that point. But yeah, that's all I've got to update you on, really. And then I came home I went and popped to see my mum, then I came home and tried to have a nap, which I literally couldn't. And then I went into work to have pizza with all of my colleagues, which was really nice. And got to say like, sort of like a bye, because I'm going on maternity leave. Well, I'm already on maternity leave, but like because of that, um, obviously I will see them while I'm on maternity leave as well. But yeah, that was pretty much the, my day. It's now 10 to 7, it's later than what I thought actually. But I'm now having my raspberry leaf tea. And I've got another Amazon package here, so I thought I'd just show you what I've got inside. And then I think I'm gonna have a bath because just my belly's really sore and I just feel like I need to get into bed really, to be honest with you. Um, and just rest. So, in here, I've got a re oh, just hit myself in the face a rechargeable handheld fan which i got for like the hospital and um, i got it in pink could have got black but i wanted pink <laughs> and i thought i could have got white as well but i thought the white one would get really dirty but actually the pink one will show the dirt as well so i should have just got black really but you know here it is oh the free speeds. Look, do you want to have a go? Is it powerful? It's not too bad. Sort of one she'd like. Mmm, luscious face. Mmm. Ooh la la. <laughs> So we'll get that charging ready for hospital and it's got a USB charger which is handy if it runs out while we're there. And then I've also got with these like little cubes that you can pack in your drawers. So that's what they look like. Some boxes and then in here are like clear drawer dividers which I've got everything for the nursery. Yeah, I need to go make my raspberry leaf tea now. finally getting round to 
building our pram, which we've gone for the eye candy peach seven um, in the grey um, or the dark grey. And it came in a really good bundle. It did come with the car seat as well, which obviously we've already put in the car. Um, and we've been meaning to build it for ages. Um, but I keep getting Braxton Hicks and like period cramps and stuff, so I definitely need to build it so it's ready. But I'll just show you some of the accessories that we got with it as well. Um, so this is the colour that it's in, which is the dark grey. And this is the changing bag that comes with it. Um, obviously I need to take these little bits off. Um, but yeah, and then it hooks on to like the chassis as well of the um, pram, these bits. So I'll probably show you that later on. But if you open, oh, it's got a little zip here actually. Little zip there. If you open it, get rid of all of that. What I'm going to do is put um, baby stuff in this bag for the, um, like their hospital stuff. It comes with a little like plastic changing mat um, and a like a one of them like insulating things I think if you've got like a cold bottle or a warm bottle you can put it in there it keeps it insulated um, and then there's different compartments in the bag as well and you can also it also zips down all the way if you wanted to like use it like that and then yeah these are the compartments inside it's quite nice as well because it is the backpack style we like matte he'll be like okay wearing it because it's not like girly or anything <laughs> it also came with a sunscreen as well to um in like this material Put over it and protect the baby from the sun. Came with this is a cup holder fan, which I'll unbox in a minute. Also came with a cup holder, a parasol. In here is the um, foot muff, but they call it a duo pod. So I'm actually going to keep this in the box because um, the carry cot thing or whatever the lay down bit will be on first. Um, so they won't need the foot muff because also it'll be summer and it's not in the chair thing. But I'll just show you. So that is the foot muff and that feels literally so, so nice. It's so soft. But that is the little foot muff. But yeah, that will be staying in the box until winter. So I think I'm going to get it out and um, lay it all out on the floor because I don't know where to begin. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you, and you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday, someday here and say anyone that has an eye candy i salute to you we've just spent an hour trying to get this canopy bit of fabric onto this bar and you have to slide it through and it just would not go i've done it now and it was so difficult I don't know if I'll put this part in the vlog or not yet, but I decided that I was going to um, try and collect some colostrum as you can do it from 36 weeks. And I had to Google how to do it because I was literally trying to like, this is like TMI, but like squeeze my nipple and I couldn't get anything out. So I looked on the NHS website, said you have to do it in like a C-shape thing and it was 
C-shaped massage and uh, it was like a video of a midwife showing you how to hand express. And I probably could have got more. Um, if you don't want to see this, then look away. But I collected it onto a spoon and then sucked it up. Um, I probably could have got more, but I didn't want to do too much the first time. Um, but yeah, let me just show you what I got. So as you can see, it's literally like gold. But that's what's left on the teaspoon. There's not enough to go in another syringe. Um, and this is the syringe. There's a whole milliliter in there. And I'm actually really proud of myself because um, I do really want to breastfeed. And um, apparently this is really good in the first like few days or if your baby's sick or literally anything like that. But yeah, really proud of myself. Guys, it is the next day again now. Um, it, I um, I'm, think I'm 36 plus three today. So I need to take my 36 week pictures this evening at some point. Um, I could do it now, but quite frankly, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Everything is literally becoming such a struggle now. Like I've just hung up the washing. Um, and yeah it was just really hard like my back is really killing me so i might go and sit on um my ball in a little while but i just feel like because i've got so much stuff to do i constantly just want to be like doing like little nesting bits here and there um so i'm gonna put this on the snizz pod now so that's ready i'm gonna take these out of the box and then I'm also going to set up this in this cloud and put that on there as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully we're going to go to the range later today as well. Um, because we've got these prints. I don't know if you can see They're underneath here. Um, these are actually, my mom has the same prints. So these come out of her nursery and we bought some frames for this one but we didn't buy two we kind of like bought one of like several different frames so we need to take like the other ones back and get two of the same frame we've actually decided now my mum's brought them ones round for like comparison me and Matt have decided the frame we picked was too big so we're gonna see if we can get a smaller frame but yeah obviously Maisie is there but me and Matt have had like a really productive morning. We changed our bed sheets in our bedroom. We changed the sheets on the spare bed as well. Because I feel like I just have this random fear that I'm going to like, my waters are going to break in our bed for some reason. And then like I go back to sleep in the spare bedroom. But realistically, if my waters break, I'm probably going to be in a lot of pain. So I'm not going <laughs> to like want to but they're there or like if anyone needs to come stay or just for any reason I needed fresh sheets on the spare bed as well um so we've done that we dusted the whole house and hoovered the whole house as well um so yeah we've had a really productive morning and then he had to go to work so oh I am out of breath yesterday you would have seen me build the pram as well i'm really really happy with it it's living at my mum's house now because of that old wives like superstition of being bad luck to bring it home so it's all built and as soon as the baby's born then we can just pick it up on the way home or i got my mum to bring it around at some point but yeah i'm gonna open these bits now and see what they look like pretty much actually really hot as well um i've got leggings and a t-shirt on i didn't want to put a dress on because i thought it was cold because it won't stop raining but the sun's come out but it's peering through like thunder clouds so it's pretty like muggy right now there we go i don't <sighs> guys everything is such a struggle um, I don't know what I'm going to store in here yet, but maybe like a few nappies or something. Something that I'll need in the night because this will be right by my head. So, no, oh, these are so cute. This little, like, rattle and then 
This is like a little taggy comforter. The other one. Yeah, cute little set. And it's actually got green little bows on, green little ribbons. Sorry, Macy. <laughs> green little ribbons on which match the nursery, which is really cute. Okay, so this needs triple A batteries. So I hope I've got some. It doesn't say how many though. I'm gonna guess three. So on the box. So I can get it to work. Um, and I thought I had dead batteries or a, a dead one, but it turns out that I just couldn't find where to press the buttons. Um, but I turn it back on. Let me just show you. Hold on, Maisie. I think she might escape. Can you get down, please? Or are you going to escape out the window? We can go outside in a second. But, um, yeah, you, there's literally, like, little buttons here. And I just thought you were just squeezing, like, randomly. Um, but, yeah, this side's the lights. So you can either have it like that or the light. And the other side is the music. I don't know if you hear that on camera, but... I think that's meant to be waves. So yeah, all done, thankfully. So I'm just gonna attach it to the snow now and we're going blurry for some reason. Oh, it's me again. God knows what I last vlogged, but we are still 36 weeks pregnant and six days today. And I thought I would just update you about the midwife appointment that we had on Monday. Um, everything went well, you know, they checked blood pressure, you have to do a water sample, everything like that, and it all came back good. I've got really low blood pressure, um, like no protein in my wee or not any glucose or anything like that, because I have had glucose in there a few times, but I think it's just because I was eating something sugary and stuff, so. So that was all good, and, um, that's all like check that quite regularly on me because my mum had preeclampsia when she was pregnant with me so that puts me at a slightly higher risk of developing it um i probably won't hopefully fingers crossed at this point 37 weeks tomorrow and i've not but obviously it can come on at any time i am severely out of breath and in pain i've been having a lot of period cramps in the front like quite low and in my back as well so i've been on the ball quite a lot the last two days and I've been panicking because I haven't finished reading my hypnobirthing book. So I'm trying to finish that as well. But um, yeah, what else did the midwife do? We just went through um, a little bit about what number to call um, if I was to go into labour. Um, and, you know, she was like, even if you're not sure, you can call them at any time. And they will just advise you because hopefully I'd like to go on the midwifery led birthing unit, which... Um, in some places in the UK, I think it's separate to the hospital, but just because of where I live, it's literally in the hospital, <laughs> it's the ward next door to the delivery suite. So if I change my mind, um, because there's no anaesthetists or doctors on that ward, um, hence the name midwifery led, you can't have like an epidural or anything like that, but I feel comfortable going in there because if I need to, I just go to the ward next door, you know. Um, if I change my mind and think I need an epidural, whisk me off to next door ward. So that'll be fine. So yeah, if I don't get induced, hopefully I can have my water bath because all of the rooms in that... The reason I want to go on there is because all the wards... Um, all the rooms in that ward have birthing pools, whereas on the delivery suite there's only one, so you're not likely to get it. So, um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, but it all depends on the next scan in a week's time, whether I have to be induced or not. So, yeah, it's weird because it's gone from like baby being too big. So I think you're going to have to be induced for that to baby not maybe possibly growing enough. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, and they also checked to see whether baby was engaged. So... Baby's been head down since 28 weeks um, and they are good. They are bumped back to bump, so they're facing backwards. They had this little like handheld 
scanner, like handheld ultra scan that like went to an app on their phone, which was really cool. Um, obviously not as like fancy as the normal ultrasounds, but they basically used it to check where the baby was head down and like in my pelvis, which they are. And they said that baby's head is engaged three fifths. So I think like one fifth is like you're giving birth. I think two fifths is obviously between that. Three fifths baby's head's down there ready. And then I think four fifths they're like a little bit below your pelvic floor. And five fifths is they're not engaged at all. Something like that I think. I might be wrong. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a midwife or a medical professional. But I think that's what the scale is. Something like that. So yeah that's all a good sign and she said that like obviously my period cramps and stuff are a good sign that labor is like on the way and everything's like going the way that it should she was like you know some people have these cramps for weeks and some people it means that they go into labor within the next week or two so who bloody knows <laughs> um getting uncomfortable this is the bump oh, you can't really tell much in this dress but yeah, this is my 36 plus six week bump. So we are still getting there and I'm still in my nesting phase. I've started packing my hospital bag soon. So hopefully I can get that finished within the next couple of days so I can film my hospital bag video. And yeah, Matt's off work today because we've got the health visitor coming this morning at some time between nine and one, which is annoying because you obviously have to be ready for them to come at nine, but they might not come until one. And it is the year anniversary of my granddad's passing today. So um, my mum and uncle have, like, are off today as well. So we're going to go for lunch, hopefully, providing that the health visitor is not really, really late. Um, and go to the crematorium as well. So that's kind of the plans for the day. But we'll see where it takes us it's now 20 past nine and obviously the health visitor's not here <laughs> but um yeah that's kind of what's happening i'll just show you the nursery because oh one of my neighbors is on a driving lesson i think macy what are you doing but um i've started getting i have the pregnancy waddle now as well um I've really started like organising stuff now as well so we still need to put these frames up. I think I showed you the other day that these were from my mum's house and we've got frames for ours but it's just so we could see. And then I've started getting baby's bits ready for their hospital bag so I've got this blanket from Mamas and Papas which has just got like these grey giraffes on so that'll be what we're taking. I'm going to take, I was only going to take three vests. But I'm taking four now because this one's not got sleeves, this pure white one. So it might be good for them to just have. I've got four muslins. The bottom two are like big ones. And I've got a medium size white one and a really small little muslin as well. Um, I've got one pair of socks and a pair of scratch mitts. And I haven't packed the baby's baby grows yet. So I haven't decided what ones to the take Maisie loves looking out of this window um so if we go in here um trying to think how this is organized to be honest these are things that are too big for the baby um and then these are all up to well this is not to three months this little cardi but i think i might take it just in case it's a cold day this hopefully will be there coming home little baby grow um we've got this one which i'll probably take this one which i probably won't take to the hospital this one's going to come to the hospital born in 2023 and then i might just pack these two as well um it's hard because you sort of don't know what size they're gonna be and then these stuff i need to wash over here so this is a little like green vest which is a naught to three months this is not to three months as well for mamas and papas but um and it's got grey giraffes on it's literally my favorite thing ever but it does look smaller or it looks the same size as the up to one month stuff so um i need to obviously wash that at some point but i'm gonna wait till 
baby's here i need to wash this this is not to one month it just hasn't been washed because it's in green and i couldn't wash it with that stuff need to wash this as well which is newborn but it's actually pretty big compared to the other vests but i need to wash that i've washed the leggings that go with this and then yesterday i just bought some plain white baby grows from next they're all the same they've got this little draft on these are in 0 to 3 and yeah they need to get washed so that's all the stuff that needs to get washed still and then obviously they'll get washed at some point but they won't fit the baby straight away so i'm not like in a rush to wash them and then we've just got a few bits here like the monitor the steriliser uh these bed pad things nappies i think i need to take these nappies back though because they're in a size zero and they only go up to seven pounds but um the baby's already like six and a half pounds so i think by the time they come out they'll be too small for the baby anyway and i've got two packets of size zero ones so um i'm gonna try and take at least one of the packets back one of them was a gift so i don't know I, hopefully they'll let me exchange it but we'll have to see and then i got this little bag from Atalan yesterday and it says lovely little friends which is cute isn't it Maze? and then we have got a pack of size two nappies from aldi in here as well which my mum got um and then that's the formula as well and i organized these drawers yesterday i put these little like dividers in so we've got milestone cards these are um even bigger than them <laughs> So they're just in there because I don't have enough hangers to hang them. And then these are three to six months baby grows as well at the back. So obviously they'll get washed at some point, but not for a while. Um, babies, little stuff, some breast milk storage, breast pads, my hacker, sterilising, colostrum collectors. These are the bottles, bottle brush, dummies, bath bits. Yeah, I've just been like organising the last few days. These are all the baby's little like toys and rattles. Baby's changing bag, um, which you would have seen when I did the pram. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. And then these are vests, little outfits, scratch mitts, socks. These are the sheets, and then the muzzies. So yeah breath I feel a bit funny now so i'm gonna have to go and sit down and max just bought me a smoothie how lovely it's me i'm back out of breath pregnant lady <laughs> apologies if you can hear matt cutting the grass in the background um but yeah the health visit has been and gone um they're really nice she had a student health visitor with her i guess um she just kind of explained who they are, what their services are, like how often you'll see them. Um, then she just talked to us a little bit about safe sleeping and um, how we wanted to feed the baby. So yeah, I think they come around like, I think she said something like three weeks after baby's born, but she didn't even ask to come upstairs or anything. Um, and she said we had a nice home, which was lovely. Um, so yeah. I thought they might ask to like see the nursery or see what baby's sleeping in but they literally didn't. I think I'm going to build quickly the shelf for the nursery while Matt's outside. Maisie's watching him out the window as per. But yeah we've got this shelf from Mamas and Papas which matches the furniture so I'm going to build that quickly and then I'll show you it in a minute and there you have it the shelf is built hopefully it's gonna go above the changing table um but yeah that won't be in this vlog where it goes up that'll be in the next vlog which well hopefully the next vlog which will be the 37 week vlog so yeah fingers crossed but i'm really happy with it i think it will look cute to put some like bits and bobs on so yeah so it looks like i forgot to end the vlog again as usual but i hope you all enjoyed watching my 36 weeks pregnancy vlog and please don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up and all of that jazz but yeah i hope you're all okay and i'll see you all in the next one Bye. i've been dreaming all night
Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby 